and welcome to Sanford Flip Math. We are working on AP Calculus. We are actually uh, wrapping up the derivatives chapter, working on uh, the derivative for exponential and log functions. And uh, so this is section 3.9 in our calculus book, which is Finney, Demana, Waits, Kennedy. Uh, it is the calculus, graphical, numerical, algebraic, uh, the one with uh, uh, for the AP exam, uh, AP course. So what we're going to work on is uh, finding the derivatives for uh, these functions you see here, e to the x, natural log of x. Uh, so remember, natural log is log base e. And then uh, exponential functions and log functions that have bases other than e. And uh, the way we're going to start this is actually by looking at uh, a graph, kind of like what we did uh, with the trig functions way back when in uh, uh, section 5. And what, what I want to do is we're, we're going to first just take a look at e to the x. And here's a graph of e to the x. This is on a standard screen. And just a reminder that this actually keeps going uh, like this. And there, there's an asymptote of y equals 0, also known as the x-axis. And so just to, to remind you of that. And then what we're going to do is look at a, the same graph. Uh, with the derivative. And when we did this before, you recall, <coughs> looked at the graph of sine and then graphed its derivative, and graph of the derivative of sine happened to be something we recognized, and it was cosine. Well, this is, uh, we're going to approach this the same way, and if you recall, uh, what we're doing here is, this is just saying the derivative with respect to x of y1, which is that thing, at every x value. Now, I know not all of you have the new uh, system software, so you, you may it may look a little different than this, and that's fine. All right, so let's just take a peek at the graph. Now, I have it set to graph it thick so that you can uh, see that where it actually is graphing, and it looks like it's pretty much the same graph. Now, what I want to do is take a peek at the table and see just how close to the same graph is it. <coughs> Excuse me. And based on the x value negative 3, this y value and this y value appear to be the same. When x is negative 1, this y value and this y value, again, appear to be the same. <coughs> this is uh, certainly not proof that these graphs, uh, that these functions are identical, but it is uh, decent evidence. And for our purposes, we're just going to go with it. Uh, so I'm going to pop back over to here and uh, y prime, if y is e to the x, y prime is e to the x. You know what? That's my favorite derivative ever. <coughs> now, it's a little more uh, interesting to deal with where a to the x comes from for the derivative of a to the x. Uh, and what we're going to do is actually play with the base a little bit for e to the x. And uh, so I'm going to kind of speed along here because you don't really have to know how to do this, but I do want you to see where it comes from. And so the idea is this. If I have y equals a to the x, a can be written as a power of, of e. In fact, a can be written as e to the natural log of a. Now, I don't know if you remember this from pre-calc and in also in Algebra 2, but a would be uh, e to the log base e of a. And the idea here is if these bases match, okay, here's the logic. This represents the exponent that e would be raised to to get a. Whatever that exponent is, we're going to raise e to it to get a. So again, the idea here is that e to the power and the log base e, it's kind of like they cancel each other out. And there, there's a whole bunch of algebra that's going on there, and I just don't want to take the time to do it here. Okay, so in essence, what we're going to do is then rewrite this as y equals e to the ln of a, the natural log of a, to the x. So I'm going to write that as e to the x natural log of a. Now, if that's true, then I can do a derivative using this idea. So the derivative of e to a power is e to that power times the derivative of the inside. And this is the inside when you're talking about an exponential function. Well, the natural log of a is just a number. 
So this is, this is kind of like uh, the derivative of 7x is just 7. Well, the derivative of natural log of a, x, is natural log of a. Okay, so going backwards just a little bit now, this is again e to the natural log of a to the x times the natural log of a. One more step. y prime equals, remember, e to the natural log of a is a. So this is a to the x times the natural log of a. So that is the rule. I know that was a lot of fun to get there. And again, you don't need to have memorized all of the details of, of how we got it. You just need to be able to use it. Okay, so the natural log, I'm sorry, the, the derivative of e to the x is e to the x. The derivative of a to the x is a to the x with this correction factor because it's a different base other than e, the natural log of a. Okay? All right, we're going to do one more uh, <coughs> development of where a rule comes from, and that is here. And I'm not going to do it for the log base a. I'll just tell you what the rule is, and you can play around with it, and, and or we can do it with it in class. <coughs> Excuse me. So if we have y equals the natural log of x, I'm going to rewrite that in exponential form. Just a reminder that this means log base e of x. So if I change this to exponential form, the base is e, the exponent is the y equals x. Now, if I want to do the derivative of this then, derivative of e to the y, okay, so I'm going to do the derivative of, on both sides of this. That's probably a terrible form. I'm sorry if a real mathematician is watching this with respect to x. Uh, all right, I'll fix it. It's going to bug me now. All right, so the derivative of e to the y is e to the y times the derivative of the inside, which was the derivative of y. The derivative of x with respect to x is 1. Okay, so solving dy dx, I'm going to divide both sides by e to the y. So 1 over e to the y. Now, a quick little reminder that e to the y, we said, was x. So that means the derivative of the natural log, we just found dy dx, the derivative of, with respect to x, of e, sorry, of natural log of x is 1 over x. Okay, so y prime equals 1 over x. Now, again, a pretty cool rule. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Okay. All right, so let me uh, put that in here. Y prime equals 1 over x. And uh, one more just to, to, and again, I'm just going to write it down. Okay, so this, this is going to be 1 over x. It's just, again, there's a little correction in it. So 1 over x times the natural log of whatever that base was. Okay? All right, so let me just kind of pop to the next screen. And this is all of those same rules that I just said. Okay, and now we just need to use them, okay? Um, on your sheet, your little uh, abridged big list, your cut down list, um, okay, I just, did the, I just boxed the wrong thing, sorry. Um, you see this version and this version. And the reason I picked those, uh, you know, I tried to strip that list down as tight as I could, <coughs> is that if you, if you remember these, then the natural log of e is just 1, and that goes away. Okay, So the natural log of e is 1, 1 times a to the x. So, so if, if the base is e, then, then this cleans up rather quickly. Now, you might decide it's just easier to remember this. I mean, it's, it's going to be really easy to remember. Okay, All right, so that, that's a lot of derivation stuff. Let, let's do at least a couple of examples. Okay, so I think we'll start with a couple that are base e. Uh, let's do uh, e to the x squared, and we're going to find dy dx, also known as y prime. Okay, so the derivative of e to a power is e to that power. The only catch is there's a chain rule. And remember, the inside for this is the exponent. So the derivative of the exponent would be 2x. And, and this is done. That's it. Uh, so if you want to write 2x e to the x squared, that would be a, the common way to write this. Okay, and that's it. OK. 
Okay. Um, let's do another one that's just like that, only different. So let's say y is um, 3x squared minus uh, e to the 2x. Okay, so the derivative with respect to y, I'm sorry, derivative of y with respect to x, well, this is just a separate term, so I can deal with this with the old power rule we were working with. So this is going to be 6x minus the derivative of e to a power is e to the power times the derivative of the inside. The derivative of that inside is just 2, and again, most people would probably write that. Okay, and that's it. Okay, let's do a couple that are natural log. Okay, so uh, let's say we have the natural log, uh, y equals the natural log of 2x minus 1. Okay, so the derivative of y with respect to x is just going to be the reciprocal or 1 over whatever the argument of the natural log was. So 2x minus 1. So it would have been 1 over u or 1 over x. This is 1 over the inside of the log. Now, because of the chain rule, we have to do the derivative of that inside, derivative of that argument. So that's 2. And again, most people are going to write this, 2x minus 1. Now, you need to resist because I know I'm still having some algebra issues here. You can't divide out that 2. There's no 2 here. 2 is not a common factor of this fraction. So please, please, please don't do it. Resist anything but temptation, right? All right, one more of the, the natural log. Okay, uh, so y equals uh, natural log. Oh, let's do x natural log of uh, x squared. Okay, all right, so we're going to do the derivative. And so y prime equals, now worth noting, this says x times, so this is a product. Okay, so when I do this, I'm going to do the second times the derivative of the first. The derivative of x is 1 okay, plus the first times the derivative of the second. So now I get to use my cute little rule. Now, the rule for logs is 1 over whatever's on the inside. And then I have to multiply it by whatever the derivative of the inside is. Well, the derivative of x squared is 2x. Okay, so let's do a little bit of cleanup. So y prime equals, well, 1 times, that's not very exciting. Um, I have x times 2x is 2x squared over x squared. So I really can simplify that now. So the natural log of x squared plus 2 that is the derivative of x, natural log of x squared, okay? All right, so that, that was all base E stuff, and it's pretty straightforward. And, and the other base isn't hard, it's just there, there's a little bit more to it. So let, let's work on some more. Okay, so let's say I have y equals um, 2 minus 3 times 5 uh, to the x, okay? So we're going to do dy dx, so y prime. Uh, derivative of 2 is 0. The derivative of 3 times something, I can just bring the 3 times something along. Now, the derivative of 5 to the x is 5 to the x, except I need a natural log of that base. That's pretty much it. Uh, now, how you write this, there's probably going to be some disagreement on this. Um, some people are going to put all the numerical stuff up front and then times 5 to the x. Uh, some people are going to write the natural log on the end because it's ugly, and they'll do it there anyway. It, it doesn't matter. Okay? All right, so what we just did was we followed this rule. It was a to the x. We did a to the x times the natural log of a. Okay? All right, let's, let's do another one just like that, only different. So y equals, uh, let's do uh, 10 to the x squared minus 1. Well, wow, that is just extra spiffy, isn't it? Okay, so y prime equals, well, the derivative of an exponential is that same base to that same exponent. The only catch is we have to do times the natural log of the base if it's not e. 
And then we also need to do times the derivative of the inside. Derivative of x squared is 2x. The derivative of the 1 is 0. So there it is. <coughs> Excuse me. So again, if you'd prefer, well, yeah, I don't know how to write this. There's probably some somebody out there that knows the specific rule and rationale and reason for the specific order, but it's all commutative, so it doesn't matter. All the multiplication is. Okay? All right, so that's an exponential with a base other than e. Well, let's do some logs with base other than e. So let's do uh, log of x squared minus 2x plus 1. Okay, so what's the base? I didn't write the base. Remember that if it's a base, if the base is not written, it is considered a common log, and the base is assumed to be 10. Okay, so the derivative is 1 over whatever that argument is, and that argument in this case is x squared minus 2x plus 1. And remember that, let me just pop right here, we need a factor of the natural log of the base if it's not base e. Okay, now this is a whole bunch of stuff. I need to connect it with multiplication. And the base here was 10, so that's going to be natural log of 10. One other little catch here. i got to do the derivative of the inside. Okay, so this ends up being 2x minus 2. Now again, most people are not going to write it like this, although I, they probably won't do much to this. I'm just going to write 2x minus 2 over. And since this natural log of 10 is just a number, I'm going to put it in front. Okay, and that is that. Okay, we'll do one more. I know it's, it's amazing, isn't it? It's just zooming right along, and you know you can rewind, and so that's a good thing. All right. All right, let's make an ugly one. Um, let's do log base 3 of the tangent of x. Oh, yeah, now we're talking about something. <laughs> All right, I'm sorry, but that little uh, arrow is bugging me, so I'm just going to move it over there. Okay, so y prime, the derivative is 1 over whatever is inside the log. So 1 over tangent of x times the natural log of the base, sorry, yep, natural log of the base, that's it, times the derivative of whatever's inside. Well, the derivative of tangent is secant squared. Okay, well, I'll do a little bit of cleanup, and then uh, we'll see if there's any more to do. Secant squared, uh, we'll do ln of 3, natural log of 3, times the tangent of x, I didn't need those parentheses. Okay, I, I'm pretty happy with this. Um, it's possible if we played around with, uh, you know, secants 1 over cosine, and, uh, you know, maybe we could make this look a little better, but I'm really not convinced it's going to be much better. You know, let me, let me just kind of dabble a little bit. So that would be 1 over cosine squared over sine over cosine. Hmm. With a natural log of 3 involved here just for kicks. All right, let, let me just keep going with it just to see. Uh, if we multiply the top and bottom by cosine, then that divides that out in one of those. And so now I have, yeah, I don't think this is really any nicer. This ends up being 1 over cosine squared sine natural log of 3. I, I don't, I don't think that was really worth it. Okay? All right, so I'm pretty happy where we're at. Um, I guess worth noting is we are done with the rules for derivative that we're, that we're going to do. And by done, I mean pretty much I, I don't know of any other rules for derivative that we're going to do for the whole year. Uh, what we're going to be doing from here on out is using these a lot. I mean, uh, this wraps it up for this chapter. But in the next chapter, we'll be using these for, you know, you thought 3.4 was about word problems. Well, chapter 4 is just about the whole chapter is word problems. So uh, just, you know, buckle up. You need to know these rules. Drill them. Flashcard them. You need to know them frontwards and backwards. Uh, 
backwards won't be tested at this point, but it w it'll come up in Chapter 5. We, you know, you'll be using them frontwards all during Chapter 4. And then Chapter 5, you'll need to know them backwards. So you, you need to know them. They're, it's a big list, and uh, you know what you got to do. Okay. All right. Thank you much. Bye.